look at the forecast here. We've got the radar right behind us. A lot going on. Yeah, different parts of the state, Tara. Very different conditions. Yeah, where you see some of these reds and oranges and yellows, some more intense rain. And I double-checked the surface reporting system. We do have rain in South Bend. Sometimes when we get these higher reflectivities, could be a mix of precipitation, mm -hmm. but I double checked and it looks like it's all raining. So heavier rain farther north and just a few showers here on the western sections of the metro area. Now, Tara, is that going to also contribute to that colder weather we're seeing for the weekend? Eventually. Right now, I still think we're going to see mild temperatures for the day today. So this little system is going to move through. Mm -hmm. uh, the rain is going to be out of here in the next couple of hours. So it's not going to be an all day kind of a rain here. I'll give you a closer look on Storm Track here in the metro area. We had some sunshine early this morning. Now we're beginning to see some clouds and just a very light precipitation moving in across parts of Hendricks County and also Marion County as well. Plainfield into Mooresville, you're seeing some light showers. And then a little bit farther northward across parts of Hamilton County, Noblesville and Fishers, you're seeing a few light showers. Let's go a little bit farther northward where we are seeing some more of this intense rain falling around the Goshen area, also into parts of Rochester. This is going to be a quick mover, I think, in the next couple of hours. We'll begin to see these showers kind of wind down. Here's the picture on Futurecast at 10 o'clock this morning. Moving off into the eastern part of the state, and by midday, it is gone. We'll hang out in maybe a few clouds out there, but I think later this afternoon, we are going to begin to see those clouds clear, and we'll look for some more sunshine. Live look outside in Carmel. We've got cloudy conditions, 39 degrees, 41 in Indianapolis, 39 in South Bend, and we're seeing those mid-40s farther south and west, like Bloomington, Bedford, and Lafayette as well. Today, here's what we can expect. Mild temperatures, one more mild day before some of these colder temperatures move in for the weekend. We're going to see readings climb into the 50s. Notice the winds out of the southwest here, 10 to 20 miles per hour. Those winds may gust at times near 30 miles per hour later this afternoon. But that's going to warm us up. 51 degrees today in Indianapolis, about 11 degrees above our normal high. 60 in Evansville, I think we'll stay into the 40s across parts of South Bend. Tonight will be clear early on, and then the clouds begin to increase once again ahead of our next storm system that will arrive on Friday. Tonight, temps will fall into the upper 20s and lower 30s. Here's our next storm system off to the west of us that begins to move in uh, Friday late morning here. This is going to quickly move out late Friday evening. And I do think we're going to see dry conditions this weekend. So if you're heading to any all-star events here this weekend, we'll be dry just chilly. Let's get you through this system on your Friday. We'll show you mainly cloudy skies here at 7 o'clock. And then by late morning, we'll see a chance for some snow to push in. This will continue for the midday hours here and even into the evening rush. This is the picture at 5 o'clock. We'll see a chance for some of those snow showers out there. Could see some minor accumulations, so slushy conditions for your evening commute home. On your Friday, keep that in mind. As we're talking about snowfall amounts, how much could we see? Well, I think the potential for at least an inch of snow is out there. Could see in some spots maybe up to two inches across parts of central and southern sections of Indiana. And then behind this system, it gets chilly. Temperatures tomorrow will climb only into the mid-30s. So a little bit actually below normal for this time of the year. About 36 in Indianapolis tomorrow, 33 in South Bend, and 40s farther southward. Then heading into the weekend... This is where the colder air begins to move in. Again, I mentioned it's going to be dry. I think sunny skies on Saturday and on Sunday, but the 50s, they're going to not be here for the weekend. We're only getting up to 32 degrees on Saturday and into the 40s on your Sunday. In your Hensley Legal Group, 8-day forecast, we will show you temperatures early Saturday and Sunday mornings. Keep this in mind. Frosty conditions expected. 20s to start out Saturday and Sunday morning. 44 for the afternoon on Sunday, and then we slowly begin to warm back up, upper 40s on Monday for President's Day, and then back into the 50s for the middle part of the work week.